Welcome to the Real Estate Marketing Podcast. My name is Jerome Lewis. I'm your host for today. The Real Estate Marketing Podcast is a podcast where we talk marketing, tech, business, and leadership. We talk these things for real estate agents, real estate investors, and real estate entrepreneurs. The Real Estate Marketing Podcast is a podcast that has two purposes. Purpose number one, to educate and inform our audience and listeners. Purpose number two, Jack, to spotlight you, your business, your service, or your product in a way that provides value to you, including market exposure and content creation. With that, we have a very special guest, Jack Goodall. Jack Goodall, Director of Marketing at KCM, which is Keeping Current Matters. He leads marketing strategy for customer acquisition and paid advertising campaigns. By combining clear messaging and valuable content, Jack communicates how to deliver timely market insights to build the brands of real estate agents across the country. He has helped increase the company's social media reach by 650% and program membership by 212%. Those are impressive numbers. For more than 12 years, he's helped entrepreneurs and small businesses establish and grow their reach and revenue through brand strategy, digital content, integrated campaigns, and a high level of client service. He worked in the music and craft beer industries, as well as tech startups, nonprofits, and higher education organizations. Jack is a trusted resource for real estate professionals and is a regular KCM market videos, market videos and webinars. He also has been featured in media interviews, real estate news, housing wire media, and Enman, the real estate advisor. Jack, I'm excited that you're here. Welcome to the show. Excited to be here, Jerome. Thanks so much for having me. I am looking forward to this conversation. I'm looking forward to it too. And I was reading your bio. Um, I like to read the bios. I like to get caught by a surprise. And I see your bio here. You, you've you done some stuff before. Uh, you mentioned like craft beer and the music industry. Can you take us on that journey of why how you went from there and to getting into real estate and marketing? Yeah, absolutely. I um I was definitely one of those um uh, folks growing up where I I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um I was always a big fan of music, so I, I kept playing it and was fortunate enough to uh go to school in Boston at Berkeley School of Music where I played drums and uh one of the things that you find when you are around a lot of other good uh you know folks in in any sort of, you know, place, maybe it's real estate, maybe it's music, maybe it's something else that you're doing is you find out really quick how good you are. And something that I found out was, you know what, unless I'm willing to go and practice about, you know, 10 hours in a closet every day, uh, I I wasn't going to make it very far on the drum. So I pivoted and got into marketing. I was always a fan of kind of booking shows and and promoting bands that I was in, bands that my friends uh, had or or solo artists. Um, And that kind of took me down this road that I'm that I'm on today, where uh, I've got to work for a lot of different businesses, work for nonprofits, work for entrepreneurs, um, worked in craft beer, which was was an amazing thing. It's not far from where we are here in in Richmond, uh, which kind of brought together a lot of music uh, and, and, um, you know, kind of a lot of passions that I had in there. But what brought me to KCM was was a couple different things. Um, you know, I think one, uh, it was an opportunity to come to a mission driven organization, which, uh, you know, our mission uh, and, and really our, our purpose here is we believe every family should feel confident when buying and selling a home. And, you know, to someone who's coming out of, you know, the music industry or craft beer, which are kind of like let's 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 call them kind of like cool uh industries as well someone might not think like real estate maybe is cool but it is incredibly important and when i found kcm i had just purchased my first home and had gone through that process really kind of like unaware about how complicated and how how massive that was and growing up the other the other part that was impactful for me is i moved around um a decent amount as a kid my dad had changed jobs and we kind of moved up and down the coast uh almost like a half dozen times by the time i was in uh high school so I'd gone through that process, and um, my mom, uh, growing up, she was a teacher. Uh, she worked uh, as well in some real estate uh, in, in a real estate office um, uh, where we lived outside of Philadelphia, going to high school. And uh, you know, it was one of those things where once I found KCM, I didn't realize how much that missions kind of spoke to me, how important it was helping people make powerful and confident decisions when it comes to buying and selling a home, because that's, I mean, most often the biggest financial decision folks are going to make in their entire life. Uh, so whether you're a kid going through that, whether you're an adult, um, that's something that I've been very, very fortunate to be a part of here over the last almost six years uh, now at KCM. And, and as you or anyone knows in the industry, it's been a heck of six years uh, that we've had here. Um, this this one uh, is looking really interesting coming up. So I'm excited to be talking about that too with you. 
Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it. So we know what KCM is and we use it in our abbreviations. Could you help us like for the audience that maybe never heard of KCM, help us understand what it is, maybe some of the mission and, you know, what KCM does as a company? Yeah, that's a great question because what I said earlier in terms of our purpose, it's it's very consumer focused, right? You know, we believe yeah. every buyer and seller uh, should feel confident, um, you know, uh, every family should feel confident with buying and selling a home. Uh, so a lot of folks who, who know KCM, they probably know us for one of a few different things. They know us mm -hmm. as data folks, right? You know, I hear mm -hmm. uh, folks at conferences are going out and speaking, you know, with agents and things like that. They're like, oh yeah, you guys have, do all the data, right? And um, which is kind of true. Um, we aggregate a lot of data. What we do is we synthesize a lot of what the experts out there are saying, your, you know, uh, Fannie Mae's, your Freddie Mac's, your Chase Bank's, your uh, uh, realtor.com's. We take all of those, literally hundreds, thousands of them and synthesize them down into really, tangible bite-sized insights that are easy to understand for you easy to understand for your clients and make it easy for you to share that out there so that's one big thing that we do and the other side is folks know us as like hey yeah you guys give me stuff to post on social media or videos to make and things like that and that's kind of the other half of the puzzle is not only do we take that information and synthesize it down in a way that's easy to understand and communicate but we take it and we package it into blogs graphics, videos, video scripts, guides, all sorts of different things because we're all different, right? You know, uh, the real estate agent spectrum runs the complete gamut. And some folks are more social media focused. Some folks are, you know, hey, I'm going to be a little bit more old school. I want to make sure I have these materials tangible in my hands. We have a suite, kind of a, a library of materials that's going to work for everybody. And what we're here to do is help you deliver the information about what's happening in the market so that you can get your clients feeling confident, get them unstuck, and help them move forward and do that in the way that's going to position you, the agent, as that trusted expert that's going to be their advisor through the process, not just another salesperson. Thank you for sharing that. So one of the things that I try to help my, like anybody that I interact with, like we as professionals, we went out, we got our education, we learned all this stuff and, all, and it's all this jargon and it's all this techno babble. And we're like so excited to like share this stuff. And then we go out there and we're saying it and, and people are like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't know why you're so excited or I don't know what's going on. So could you talk a little bit about that and how KCM helps people like understand things a little more simply? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a couple things in there because I think um, the first is that uh, what you may have heard referred to as like the curse of knowledge, right? Where mm -hmm. we in this industry know things so inherently, right? Because we've either mm -hmm. been living it every single day or we stay really close to it because we follow the market, right? So mm -hmm. let's take 2024, for example, where we're coming in and we're all feeling pretty good, especially coming out of a year like last year, right? Where mm -hmm. it was hard. We know it's not going to be easy, but things are looking pretty solid going into this year. Um, so what we have coming up next is uh, we've got, um, oh, excuse me. Uh, we've got the opportunity to bring that to folks in a way that they can understand, right? So that uh, it's not just um, us using using lingo and jargon, we're going to be able to bring it to you in a, in a simple to understand way. So at KCM, we write all of our content directly to your buyers and sellers. So you're not even having to translate this information yourself. That A lot of that's already done for you. Uh, the other piece is to break it down into ways that are simple, simple to understand. So even as we're talking here on a podcast, we're, we're talking a lot, right? And we're, we're using words. But if I were to describe a circle to you, I could talk about, you know, a curved line that comes around and meets it at the other point, or I could just show you a picture of a circle. And if you think about it, that is a much more effective way to tell the story. So that's why so much of what we do at KCM is based on powerful visuals. So having visuals, having uh, uh, the answers, and more importantly, the, the facts to back up those answers um, is absolutely huge. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and, and consumers, I find like we got Google and then we have like chat TBT and it's like, oh, they have information at their fingertips. And some people might say they don't need, they don't need the agents anymore. We understand that's not necessarily true, but some people might have that idea. Nonetheless, I would like to say to you, like uh, some people still come to agents and I want to know, like, what questions are you seeing being asked by agents? Like, what are the top questions? And uh, what can agents do to answer those questions? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, to, to, to the point that you had starting out there is that 
more people choose to use agents today than they have ever actually in, in, in the history of, of real estate. And that's because this is, this is a relationship business. And this is also a very emotional decision for folks to make. If it'd be one thing, if you were to just look at the numbers and say, okay, uh, I think I'm ready to buy and sell a home. Everyone who's been in this business, especially over the last couple of years, know how emotional this is. There's not a lot of inventory. You've probably been working with certain buyers who have been trying to find a home for months, potentially years at this point, and just trying to crack into the business um, to get that first home potentially. And it is draining and they need an expert. They need somebody who they can lean on that's a trusted expert. So one of the things there you mentioned, Jerome, is questions. We are getting asked tons of questions uh, if you're in the real estate space and you have to be able to answer them clearly and with confidence because that is what folks need to be able to feel confident about their own decision making and be able to move forward. So we've we've got, I'd say about three, maybe four top questions um, that we know folks are getting asked and that you really have to be able to not only know the answers to these and understand the answers to these, but you have to be able to explain the answers to these if you want to be able to, to survive and, and, and really thrive in, in today's market. So uh, real quick, those those top three in particular are all around the biggest things that are changing coming to this year. And that is where mortgage rates are headed. That is what's happening with home prices. And that's will transactions increase in a significant way coming into 2024. Those are the top three. Um, and if you'd like, Jerome, I can even kind of talk through with folks how to answer those questions with confidence, if you think that'd be helpful. I, I would love to, because um, I'm thinking, and I always try to put myself in like the like the, per, the other person's shoes. And I'm like, all right, I get it, I understand. Yeah. Jack, what can I do to like answer those questions confidently? I, I, I'd like teach a class. We get agents and they know everything, but then it's like, you got all this information. How do you handle it like in a way that's really confident for you? So I would love to hear your perspective on that. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think to your point there, I myself, you know, am not even normally teaching this stuff. What I do is I get to use KCM materials and be the expert just from using those, those materials. You know, I think all of us can get a little bit of that, um, uh, that like imposter syndrome, right? Where, the, where you're like, hey, I got into real estate to work with people or I got into real estate because I really love my community and I want to be able to support my community. A lot of folks may not have gotten to real estate to be data experts or to even be marketers or something like that. So this this side of things can be really challenging. And I think that's what's so amazing about you know what we're able to do at KCM is we're able to take such complex subjects and break them down in ways that's easy for folks to do. So I'll, I'll tell you right now, I, I did a webinar with our founder, Steve, last week. And literally just spending that hour with him, I'm able to sit down here with you, Jerome, and use that same information and be like, hey, this is this is exactly what we need to do. This is exactly what we need to be delivering to buyers and sellers out there. So let's go into those uh, questions real quick. And to kind of set all of this up, I talked about, hey, this year's looking a little bit better than next year. And I think that's the number one thing that consumers need to know about this year because we may be feeling that, but they are not feeling that maybe coming out of last year. We know that affordability is still a challenge. We know that where we've been with mortgage rates has a lot of folks very concerned about, am I going to be able to do this? They've been sitting potentially on the fence for a year, maybe even more now saying, I want to wait until mortgage rates come down. So if that's the number one question, well, the way that KCM is looking at this year is we think this is this is going to be the year of the fives. And we think this is going to be a phenomenal year. So let me explain what I mean by that. Let's take mortgage rates, for example. We think that five is going to be the first number, the handle, if you will, on mortgage rates by the middle of this year. And that that is going to be kind of like a psychological break for those folks who have been on the fence, who are feeling like, ooh, now is really the time. And why do we think that? Because I think talking about rates or acting like we all know where mortgage rates is going to go is an absolute fool's errand. So what you'll hear me kind of talking about here is this is this is my opinion on the market, but it's based on these facts. So first thing you need to know is that mortgage rates are based on two primary things. One is the 10-year treasury rate. And the other part is the spread, which is what's charged by the lenders based on what they think uh, 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 they can charge in addition to that to essentially make money on the loans. Um, we think that the rates are going to come down and that the spread is going to narrow. So let me explain what, what those two things are. Goldman Sachs and tons of experts out there are already calling 
for cuts in March, May, and June coming up. This is confirmed by other reports at First American, Fannie Mae. If you were talking to a buy, uh, to a potential buyer or seller right now, you could show them a simple graph that has all of these um, predictions on, hey, here's where these stepwise um, uh, cuts on the mortgage rates are expected over the coming quarters. So that by the end of this year, most of these experts are saying it is definitely going to be below six, or it is most likely going to be below six, I should say. And then on the spread side, this is again, that amount that's on top of that, that the lenders are charging. If you look at a 50 year spread and Steve, our, our, our founder created a, a beautiful graph on this. You see that extremely consistently over the last 50 years, the spread between the 10 year treasury and the, and the average mortgage rate that's being assigned out there is about 1.72%. Right now, that has completely spiked over, I think it's close to three right now, and is completely out of whack due to things like the economic um, concerns and geopolitical concerns that are out there. We see this lowering with less economic certainty because we are coming into a much softer landing than a lot of folks have predicted right now. And there's less fear of recession from experts. Um, we're seeing even folks reforecast their predictions for mortgage rates. A lot have forecasted them in the fall, and they're reforecasting now coming into January, and those are all coming down. So that's a lot to say that between the treasury rate and the spread, experts and economic indications are showing that those are all expected to come down even quicker than a lot of folks expected. Excellent. Excellent. I, I appreciate that. And one of the things I appreciate of what you're doing is like, you're talking about the current market. You said, let's take 2024. You're not talking about years ago or anything like that. You're talking about the current market. So I'd love to hear from you. Like I'm a, I'm a new agent or I'm an experienced agent. It doesn't really matter. Like uh, what is like, what should I be focused on? Or what are like some keys to success for me to thrive in this market? And then I also want to know like how I can thrive in any market. So Absolutely. Could you Absolutely. Talk about that. Yeah, that's that's a great question because what market we're in today is certainly not the market of yesterday, and it's also not going to be the market of you know next year or the year after that. Um, hey, look at my little emoji just popped up there. Um, what what this is is it's going to be imperative for you to not only know what's happening in the market, not only understand what's happening in the market, but you have to be able to explain what's happening in the market. So these questions that are coming in from folks or this uncertainty that's been out there, you know, particularly coming out of 2023, the the number one word I feel like I've heard associated with consumers in the market is fear. There's a ton of confusion about where things are going. There's there's concerns and that leads to fear and that fear leads to paralysis. And we've seen that in terms of last year coming where the transactions were lower, inventory be extremely low and the concerns about where mortgage rates were, all of this has led to affordability being a major challenge uh, out there in the market. And it's really our job as real estate professionals to be out there communicating what is really happening in the market in a way that folks can understand so they can move forward and, in a sense, unlock many of these challenges we're having. That's how we're going to get more inventory on the market. That's how we're going to get more transactions happening. So if you take that uh, example there with mortgage rates, if you can explain, hey, here's why I believe that mortgage rates are going to continue to go down by even potentially the middle of this year, that's going to unlock a lot more transactions that are going to happen. That's also going to help prices continue to appreciate at a more normal rate. So back to your question there, Jerome, what's what do folks need to be focused on? You have to be able to explain the market. We talked about that curse of knowledge where we know things, but consumers may not know things. And they are looking to us in terms of why they're going to use an agent because they need an expert. They are, they're looking to us for leadership in that sense. And if we are leaders, then our number one job as a leader is to define reality. So we need to make sure that in your market, your sphere of influence is reality, at least when it comes to the housing market, should be defined by you. Because where they're getting their information about real estate right now most likely is from national resources, right? Like your CNNs, your headlines, your, your social media. Um, as much as we'd like to think that our uh, following or are following, they're following, you know, other real estate agents out there, they're, they're really not. If they're following you, then you're probably the only one that they're following. And they're probably just following the rest of the local and national news after that. So if the national news is focused on affordability and mortgage rates and putting out 
much more negative headlines because let's right. face it, they're not trying to educate folks on how to buy and sell a home. They're they're trying to get clicks. That's that's just a fact. And that's why it's our job. This is literally our number one job to get out there and to preach the facts about what's actually happening and where we believe the market is going to go from there. Thank that's you for sharing that. So you mentioned two things and yep. The question, the question I have for you is like, as an agent, what can I do to educate my clients nationally? Like, what can I do? Number one, and then number two is like locally. Like, how can I best educate those clients from these negative headlines and things that are scaring them and putting them in that uh, that uh, state of fear? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you you called it out really well there in terms of the national versus the local side, because we know that real estate is happening locally, but much of what is influencing what is taking place on a local level is from the national side, both in terms of things like mortgage rates, but also in terms of just the actual uh, sentiment of, of how consumers are feeling out there because they're educated at that level. So let's take the national first. And that's really uh, what KCM was founded on, um, was talking about what's happening uh, in the market at a national level. So the number one way that you can do that is to continue to infuse this message into your communication. And when I mean communication, I mean your marketing, your prospecting, when you're hopping on a call, when you are posting to social media. That doesn't mean everything you post to social media should be about the housing market, but this needs to be a consistent piece that you are getting in front of your sphere of influence, in front of your market to be able to talk about. And you need content to be able to do that because if you're just going to sit there and, and wait for folks to ask you about it or just wait until you're having individual conversations, that's really not enough. You need to be consistently getting this out there. And that's a lot of work, right? You know, I know, Jerome, I mentioned earlier that a lot of folks got into this uh, industry, maybe not to be uh, a data analyst, but they might also not be a marketer or a writer or a video producer. And that's another reason why you need to have the right resources, not only to have this information, but also to be able to share it quickly and easily. Um, so for some folks, maybe that's having a blog. Uh, that's something that's really quick and easy to share. Um, it may not be quick to, to create yourself. That's why at KCM, we have a daily blog that goes out there. Folks can share it for free if they want to, and they can go to trykcm.com slash blog. But our members also get a personalized version of that that goes to their own uh, website where they can drive traffic to it. There's ways to capture leads on there. And this blog, like I mentioned earlier, is it's always written to your buyers and sellers, comes out every single day, and it's hitting the latest topics in the market. And that's just one way to educate folks out there. It's a quick and easy way. You can even automate it to your social media. There's other social graphics out there. You can make videos, but you need to find a way to get this into your pipeline, to your regular cadence. And for some folks, they've got a team or they've got the capability to do that themselves. Maybe that's a passion of theirs, which is amazing. I think that I've seen the most you know, authentic, amazing content that's getting better and better in the real estate industry as folks get more um, advanced in the way that they're doing this. And then for some folks, they they need an extra resource to be able to do that. And then you mentioned on the local side, Jerome, infusing a local angle into this content, into this message is absolutely critical to kind of make that final connection with where your customers are at. So here's what this means in your zip code. Here's what this means in our larger city um, that we're talking about here. And that's another piece that uh, can be kind of exhausting if you've you know spent any time in like a local MLS and trying to pull trends and data from there and to turn that into a uh, a nice visual or to be able to pull kind of like insights and analysis from that. That that also takes a lot of work. Um, we're fortunate at KCM where we provide that to our members as well. Um, we have every single zip code in the entire country where you can look up anything from where, where listings are at, what's happening with prices, um, and infuse that into this content that we're talking about here. One thing that we just came out with recently is a part of our, our video application, uh, Real Talk, where... Um, for the last year, year and a half, we've given folks pre-written scripts and you can use your phone. Um, we have an app where you just pull up a script, you can edit it, you record it right there. And what we just came out with is a way to pull in one of your uh, local um, uh, charts or graphs. And we even have a component that will write that part of the script for you using a little AI wizard where it, it looks at, okay, here's the data trend. It'll write that up for you. You can edit it yourself, you can ask it to Rego, but it's just another thing that helps you 
personalize this content, but do it in a way that's super efficient and in a way that you'll be able to still make sure that it's in your voice because there's no better way to communicate all this information than being on video. You know, right now, being able to talk to folks directly into the camera, it's scalable, but it's also personal. And there is nothing else out there that that beats that. So if there's there's folks who have been on the fence about making videos and they haven't been doing it, that is a mistake. You need to be out there getting this message out there. And if you need some help doing that, KCM's Real Talk is a great way to do that. Excellent. Excellent. I thank you. I appreciate you for sharing that. And I just want to go like a little bit deeper on the importance of video because mm-hmm. I, I, I was looking and I was like, he's, he's saying what I say. And people <laughs> like, we got all this information out there. We got Google, we got, and we got ChatGPT. That thing is like flip things upside down. And I want people to understand the importance of personalization. And I find in my experience, the best way you can personalize any of this content it's just like video content. So could right. you talk a little bit more about that, please? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, let's take if, if you know, you've, you've never made a video before. Um, mm-hmm. The biggest obstacles that I know for most folks that, that prevents them from getting into video is usually I don't know what to say. Mm-hmm. I, don't know, I don't have time to make videos. Or I just don't feel confident getting on camera. I, do, I don't like how I look. So mm-hmm. I'll kind of take each one of those. I think the first one in terms of not feeling comfortable or confident on camera, that is the case for everybody. I don't care who you are. Maybe maybe there's some, you know, rare folks out there, but I'll use myself for example, you know, uh, the first few times that I've, I got on video for KCM, you know, maybe, maybe five or so years ago, man, like unbelievably nervous, like getting on there. And the, the one thing that I had to do is I just have to keep doing it. it was literally my job. And, there, it's not like I had a, even uh, a ton of options there, so I had to do it. And I think that's that's one of the sort of mindsets that we need to take on as professionals in this industry. Video is not optional anymore. It is it is required. So it is if our job is to be the agent and is to be the expert and is to deliver this information, well, then it's your job to get on video now. So part of that is is kind of just getting over that mindset. But then it takes reps and sets. You just gotta keep going and your first video that you make yeah it's gonna be bad and you still need to make it and i i would even go a step further you need to share it because if you make it and then you just kind of like throw it in the trash or, or whatever you do on your iphone that's still that's still not gonna give you the feedback of what you need to hear which is hey what do folks think of it so Number one, you need a, a, a way to do that. One of the things that we have in our app is we have like a rehearsal mode uh, where you're able to make as many versions of as you want before you feel like you've kind of got it dialed in and actually want to save one. Um, it's really, really helpful, even, even if it's just kind of like to get over that mental hurdle. Um, the second part is the time. And, and you're right. That's, that is a lot. You know, coming up with what to say, uh, coming up with um, ways to make that kind of interesting and engaging. Um, thinking of ways to make your your the video itself engaging whether it's having visuals or or something like that in there that that does take up a lot of time and i think uh for some folks they use kcm content even you know outside of our our kind of like done for you uh uh real talk scripts and things like that they use kcm content to help them speed up that content creation process where they don't have to think about a video script they pull one of our blogs or uh they watch the monthly market report with um with our team on there and they pull some of the slides out from it they uh take some of the script which we literally give you the script of the monthly market report and they make their own monthly market report where they take some national data they take some local data and all they're doing is just kind of making a video like i'm sitting you right now and they might just you know kind of put a slide up next to them almost like you know a Uh, a new style Um, and they're able to just do it that much quicker because they didn't have to come up with the ideas for it. They didn't have to write it themselves. And real talk gets that even a little bit further where we give you the scripts, you record it all on your phone. You don't even have to edit it and you can share it right from your phone. So that's even a little bit more of a cheat code there, but there's still ways to, to get in front of it. And I think that last one I said was, you don't know what to say. And that is why you need to have a trusted resource that not only is accurate, is up to date, but it gives you the facts to kind of fall back on. Because I think what a lot of folks, not just on video, but in conversation around things like mortgage rates or prices, is you can be kind of unsure if you are comfortable stepping into that conversation going, what if they push back with questions? 
Um, what if, you know, what, what if some trolls come after me online, which, you know, be believe you me, uh, at Casey and we have over three, you know, we have around 300,000 followers on Instagram alone. We, we, we get some, some folks out there who have some things to say when we come out there with a, with a strong statement and you have to be confident stepping into those that, you know what, even if this is my opinion, it's based on these facts. Here's the, here's the, um, uh, the resource that I pulled it from. This is a reputable resource. Here's the graph. And for these other folks that may be pushing up against that, your question to them is always, well, where's your resource on that? And most times they will kind of let it go from there, or you'll find out that it's, you know, crazy Uncle Charlie on YouTube or something like that. Um, but more often than not, you're going to have some folks that no matter what, they're always going to be pushing up against this. But you need to still be delivering this message for the vast majority of other folks who go, oh, wow, that's a light bulb moment for me. I didn't realize that mortgage rates are, are coming down. They're expected to come down that that quickly. And you know what? They might not be 3 or 4%, but you know what? I, I've been putting this off for too long. And if I can get a, a good mortgage rate under 6%, you know what? This is the time for me. Thank you for sharing that information. What should I do next? That's, I mean, that's like music to all of our ears, right? If we could hear that. Excellent. So we, we've been talking about KCM. I like to hear, we've been using the, um, what is it? The acronym. Could you tell us like, Help us understand keeping current matters. There's a play on words. And I know you already mentioned this before, but I just want to make sure people understand what real talk is because that's a play on words there too. So KCM, keeping current matters, tell us about that. And then let's go into real talk and wrap us up. Absolutely. So yeah, I'll, I'll kind of take us back to the beginning where uh, Keeping Current Matters um, was originally uh, uh, founded by Steve Harney. Um, it was even called Steve Harney Incorporated. And he's our founder. He uh, was in the real estate space for years and years and years, um, ran um, an incredibly successful, I want to say, uh, one of, if not the largest um, uh, agency uh, that was based in Long Island, New York. And he was fortunate where he was able to sell that business around 2005, which if you're if you're looking ahead in my timeline here, was great timing on that. And he still kept in touch with a lot of his friends that were in the industry. And come around you know, 2006, 2007, he was starting to hear some really big rumblings from, from folks, really big concerns. And Steve is um, a savant when it comes to numbers and being able to look through what is happening out there in the market and distilling it down that kind of like secret sauce that is kcm keeping current matters comes from steve who's able to do that and what he did starting in 2007 2008 was he hit the road uh, because what he saw happening was folks making decisions and by folks i mean both agents as well as clients buyers and sellers making decisions based on bad information and what he found was there was a gap in the industry that there was there was things that people didn't know and they were forced to make decisions for, such as foreclosing their home or 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 to move or to or to not make a decision and that was based on bad information or just or just plain old fear so what steve did is he basically started a roadshow where he went around the country he made it to 49 out of 50 states um, over the next several years um, speaking to agents speaking to brokerages about what's really happening in the market and how to educate your clients so that they can make better decisions going forward. And this is where that purpose comes from in terms of we believe every family should feel confident when buying or selling a home. That came out of the uh, the economic crisis and the, and the housing crash of 2008. That's where we started. And Keeping Current Matters as a name was all about, hey, the information is constantly changing. So it's one thing for us to even talk about, um, you know, here's here's where this information is now. You need to be have your finger on the pulse. You need to be plugged in on a very regular basis. There, if if not daily, then at least weekly. Um, but a lot of the content that we create here at KCM is coming out every single day, so that we are staying on top of that. And over the years, it evolved uh, from I'd say almost like a classic. Like you remember Netflix before it was a streaming platform. They were sending CDs in the mail. That's what Steve did. He took he took his talks and he turned it into a monthly market report that he would record. And our team at the time, very small team, was based out of his garage, would print them out onto CDs and mail them out to folks. And we had a small but mighty following. They called themselves Harney's Army uh, uh, back then. And from there, Steve's son, Bill, uh, came into the company and had a vision for it where, hey, we can we can expand this and started to build additional products and features that made it even easier for folks to go beyond, hey, here's Steve's script and some of Steve's slides, and to turn those into things like personalized blog posts 
or seasonal buyer and seller guides or social media graphics that you can put out there. And to sort of what we consider that we do is we kind of take it the final mile is the way that we call it, where you have reports coming out from big name, you know, organizations or companies or, you know, economists and things like that, but they are not distilled in a way that you can deliver to a buyer or a seller in a way that they can understand. So at KCM, we, we see that it's our job to help you, the agent, take it that last mile. And that keeping current matters kind of is that ethos of you have to constantly be staying on top of that as the market's changing. Um, and that last piece, uh, Jerome, you mentioned Real Talk. Um, uh, that was exciting. That came out about a year and a half ago where we were looking around the industry and said, wow, social media and really just content consumption online has completely changed to where video is number one. Uh, used to be blogs and written content. Obviously, we had we had that with personalized blogs, but we knew that f folks, it wasn't just needing to have videos, but folks needed to be on video themselves to deliver that personal message, as, as you mentioned. So we tasked our team with finding a way, how do we do this? We'd never really seen anything, uh, certainly not in real estate, but even beyond that had really been a way for folks to deliver a message on camera using a mobile phone, but to do it in a way that was like pretty much you could do in like a couple clicks. And that's what we challenged our team to do. And we have an amazing, amazing product team, amazing development team. And they came up with this app, which um, we ended up calling Real Talk. I, I, I get to uh, take some credit for being a part of that team that came up with that, that little name. We were debating if it was going to be real with two E's. This was before Instagram had really come out with Reels. So we, we kept it real, but for, for real estate, you know. Um, and we felt like this was the way that folks could kind of bring that personal touch, as you mentioned, Jerome, that, 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 that they need to. And also to really kind of own the message that we have here at KCM. It's it's one thing to share a blog post or to, to put up a visual or something. That's kind of passive, right? It's like, but it's another thing for you with your voice, with your face and, and looking directly into the camera directly, you know, at your audience there and to deliver that message. So we have an app here that um, is part of the KCM mobile app. And inside of that is, is Real Talk. And what it is, is every week we come out with uh, a few different scripts. Uh, I believe at the app, there's there's always at least seven different scripts that are in there. And with that, you can choose those scripts. You can edit them if you want to. If not, it's all ready to go. And literally right in the app, you click one button and it's almost like you're, you're making like a selfie video, but you've got a teleprompter right there that's going through the script and you're reading it. You're looking at it on camera there. We even have an uh, ability to uh, plug in a visual automatically. We'll have one picked out for you so that, hey, if you're talking about a graph or, or let's say mortgage rates like we were earlier, we'll flash um, uh, a graph up on screen while you're talking about that automatically. And then it'll cut back to your camera uh, when you're ready to come back on. And when you're all done and you hit the finish button, it immediately is edited and ready to go right there. In in another click of a button, you can have that shared to Instagram, Facebook. You can put in an email or a text or something like that. Um, and the and the advancements that we've had recently is basically to make it even easier for you to customize um, those videos. You can completely customize your scripts, add your own visuals. Like I said, it can even pull in some of the local data and information. And and uh, with this little AI wizard that we're um, uh, that we've launched, it'll even write part of that script for you, which is pretty amazing. Um, so all of this is, is just to try and give ARM agents with both like, you know, the insights and, and some of these content pieces, some of these tools to help make it easier for you to be out there explaining the market as the expert that you need to be. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to get this wrapped up. I got a couple more questions. First Absolutely. one is, might stop you a little bit, maybe, maybe not. What's what's one question you wish I had asked you, and how would you have answered? Oh man, that is a great question. Um, you know, it's funny because I think I think uh, uh, KCM is the name was a good one there. Um, man, I think I think a really good question could be is you know why why should you trust um you know kcm as as a resource you know who who makes us like the expert um and and i'd answer that in a couple ways i think one is is we've been doing this uh for 
17, almost 18 years now. Um, I've been here for, for coming up on six years, but uh, we've, we've been around and we've seen a lot of different market cycles. And I think the fact that we were founded around a time like the housing crisis in 2008 sort of shows that kind of like, this is what we were built for. Anytime that there is uncertainty in the market, this is, this is why we exist. And we see it as our calling to be that shining light when there is darkness and confusion in the market that we want to be that shining light. And I think the other reason is we have the most incredible research and content strategy team that is digging into this information every single day. I mentioned that, you know, Steve Harney, our founder, is kind of like the, the architect of that secret sauce, but we have an entire team that literally all they do is look through all of these reports that are coming out every single day, hundreds, thousands of sources, and distilling them down. They meet literally every single day of the week in sort of this amazing process uh, that goes through, okay, what are the big topics and questions out there? How can we verify this information? How can we distill this down into a simple piece of information that not only makes sense to us, but is going to make sense to buyers and sellers out there? And to do that and to constantly have the uh, supporting evidence, uh, we've always got the, um, uh, the the original source. We have the link back to the original report for anything that you share so that what I'm trying to say is when you get pushback from somebody who you're talking to or maybe somebody online, you immediately can pull up and go, well, here's the receipts. Here's here's the trusted resource that's out there. And know that this isn't just this KCM's word out there, but we are pulling, if not one, multiple experts out there that are supporting this information. And you can feel good about putting that forward as your own, which is which is absolutely huge. And we know that once, once you're able to um, build trust with the client, because that's what this is all about, then then that's that's the number one goal to be able to move forward in this business. Thank you for sharing that. So my final question is, how can we learn more about KCM? Where do we go? What do we do? Take us through that process. Absolutely. So uh, KCM, um, we have uh, a lot of content that's out there. And the best way to check us out is, is to start a free trial. Um, if you go to our website, uh, trykcm.com, um, you'll find that we have uh, three different membership tiers um, based on what your goals are, really. Um, it starts uh, as low as uh, $39.95 a month, and we give you a 14-day free trial with that's completely risk-free and even a 30-day money-back guarantee. And what you're going to find when you, when you start a, a trial at KCM is you instantly have access to literally hundreds of pieces of content um, that are out there. And what's best is for you to decide on what, what are your goals in terms of how you want to go out there and explain the market. Uh, do you already have a system in place that you want to plug KCM into? Or do you want to kind of build this you know, from the ground up? Maybe you're an agent who's just getting started, or maybe you're someone who's going, you know, I really need to kind of rethink my marketing content plan here. And the beautiful thing about uh, the KCM you know, site, as well as once you sign up for the free trial, is we have an onboarding process that's literally going to help you walk through that step by step. We have an incredible uh, support team as part of our member success team that they even do onboarding accelerator calls um, uh, with, with some of our uh, folks who sign up, especially if you're going to sign up for our expert or elite um, tiers that really give you that kind of like hands-on approach to help you get comfortable with this because you may never have used a video recording app before or maybe you you know never connected uh, auto posting to your Instagram and you know we want to make sure that that's not the obstacle that's preventing you from being that expert for your sphere of influence from your market that's out there so i hope that folks uh if you are someone who's saying you know what i need to do a better job explaining the market or you know what i recognize that this is important and I need something that's going to help up level those conversations that I'm having up level and grow my influence in my market. This is the best resource um, in the entire business for that. Excellent. Thank you so much. Could you tell us again how we can find out more? Absolutely. Go to, go to trykcm.com. You can sign up for a 14 day free trial and uh, that is where you will be able to get access to all of the amazing things that we've been talking about today. Excellent. Thank you. I wasn't going to hit you with this one, but I'm going to hit you with it. It's not a question. Or, or yes, it is. If you could leave us with one word, no explanation, what word would that be? Clarity. Clarity. All right. Thank you. Uh, Jack, this has been excellent. I appreciate you so much. We got about 45 minutes. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to close us down. We're going to do some catching up in the back end. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Sounds great. Appreciate it, Jerome. I really enjoyed it. Absolutely.